Hello everyone, this is a new uh, tutorial about how we fix the distance between the arm and the stomach between uh, in animation for Unreal Engine 4 uh, to Unreal Engine 5 character and also uh, for MetaHuman. If we look to the animation on uh, Unreal Engine 4 you will see the distance between the arm and the stomach is shorter than the arm and the stomach on Unreal Engine 5. So uh, let's see how we could fix this problem. So if we already follow the tutorial before about retargeting the animation and we retarget the animation from Maximo to Unreal Engine 4 mannequin and this is what we got so if we like to follow the same way we did it before and when we click and retargeting the animation from the mannequin of Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5 we will get the distance and the arm is more distant than the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin so what we, we need to do, we can close this part here. Uh, we're gonna create a folder called test animation. So we go to third person character and then we look for mannequin UE4 and go to the rigs and double click on RTG UE4 many to RE5 many double click on that and over here you're gonna see the overlap between the new mannequin and old mannequin so what we need to do on this part here we could go to assets and we could apply the walk animation and we could stop in a certain animation let's stop in in the frame 15 and then we see the animation between both characters and over here you can see this is um, the, the new animation is a little bit far away than the old one a little bit but when we retarget the animation also it's going to be different so the only thing we need to do because we need we concern too much about the arm area we go to chain mapping and then we click on the left arm which is this part and we need to play with the parameters here on the IK we need to play with the parameters of static local offset and X and Y and if you look if we move offset left and Y you're gonna see the arm going up and down or going forward or backward so this is this process is by try and error which is you cannot have defined number you just need to find a way to find the best um, location for you so if you go like this right you can go like this you're gonna repeat for left arm and also you're gonna repeat this for right arm play the animation you can see how it look and if it's need to adjust more the most important look at the hand here not to be enter overlap with the uh, thigh see it's a little bit overlap with the thigh so this is the left hand left uh, arm so you could just try to adjust it a little bit to not be overlap with the left thigh once you're done click save and from here you could click on the walk and you could click the button say export uh, export the selection animation so export this selection animation to tested animation I'll prefix it uh, uh, test one underscore 
and export it and then you look to the animation here will be stop on number 15 this is the one we just fixed which is test walking unfortunately we cannot open the both animation at the same time so if I go to animation here and I go to walk animation and look frame 15 that's the old one this is we did not fix you'll see the distance is uh, it's uh, longer than the distance on the the one we did uh, let's go back to our animation and as I said this is the trial and error if you think this is animation is whatever you're looking for and I see like the maybe the right arm is more distance here than it should be so I could go back to the uh, retargeting and in the left arm here I could just make it uh, right arm I just gonna adjust the distance a little bit more you could also adjust the static offset click this one and we retargeting the or we export this animation again to the animation test All right, the distance is still let's fix it again I will adjust this offset like this I believe it should be right. Expert. and if you look here you see the arms are better than before and is less distance uh, you could adjust also this part here you see if if you go over here you're gonna be more straight than this one if you want to so you could go back to retargeting here and you go to the left arm and you start adjusting the this part here save it and try again and I believe this is much better so this is how you fix the arm area anyway whatever the values you are set it over here any animation and you if you if you save it and any animation here will follow if you retarget in the future will follow the same setting until you are reset it again if you reset it that will be 
go with the new uh, reset uh, animation. So this process, it's uh, it's try and error, as I said. You have to try multiple times until you find the uh, the best uh, parameters that you can retargeting from Unreal Engine 4 mannequin to Unreal Engine 5. And typically, once I, uh, let me save all that. Once I satisfy with the Unreal Engine 4, I could easily just right click and retarget, retarget this animation for MetaHuman. I will select the uh, from mannequins and then we'll, I will select the MetaHuman character. Change the folder to test folder and click retarget. And if I double click right now, you will see the arm, it's much better right now. It's almost normal for walking. So and if as I said, if you if you like to keep this one more uh, or shorter you could do it by adjusting the parameters it's by try and error until you find the best uh, animation for you and if you have a multiple animation or uh, you find one animation is good the other animation is not good for uh, one other thing you could easy just duplicate this uh, retargeting system and adjust whatever you need to adjust to have multiple retargeting system for like if you're holding gun and is this animation is not good for holding a gun or something you could just duplicate duplicate this animation by double double uh, right click and just click duplicate once you duplicate you could open it and you could adjust the animation for holding a gun so this way you have multiple retargeting system when you have when you have a gun when you are not having a gun and something like that and uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you later. Thank you.